Hello everyone and welcome to the third layer using the Fresh Paint Picture My Life cards. What I'm doing with these, if you haven't seen any of the videos before, is taking the Picture My Life cards, also known as pocket cards. They come in a pack of 24, you get 12 6x4s and 12 3x4s. And I've separated them out into what I think would make a good combination on a page. And instead of using the pocket style scrapbooking format, I'm putting them onto 12 by 12 pages. So I've selected these ones where it's predominantly the lemonade or the yellow featured. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is run some of my photos down on the page like this. I've actually put some strips of lemonade behind this and also I had some leftover pieces where I was using this inside piece of the black for mats so I've kept the frame where I've gutted it and I'm going to use that on the layout like this and then I've created another frame to go on this side but what I thought might be fun with some of these cards is to see whether or not I can cut them into circles and create a bit of movement across the page because these are fun bright colors and I think by adding some circles it will add a really cool element to the page. These are the circle shaker window thin cuts and I quite often use this size circle. So this one is roughly three inches and I think what I'll be able to do is cut some of these out and then tuck them around and have the piece where it doesn't quite match. You can see that's going to miss that bottom piece I can either cover that piece up with a banner strip or by tucking it underneath photos or I could run them across the bottom. So I'm going to go through all of these and work out which ones I can cut circles into. This is left over from the previous layout that I did. What I might do instead of introducing the blue which is quite strong here is actually cut two semicircles out of this so that I can stagger those around. This Picked My Life card just has a different orientation if you wanted to use it just like this but I'm actually going to cut some circles out of this and this one here I think I might just fussy cut out that part to see if I can use it. It doesn't quite fit in a circle shape. It's quite a big bold element to this page. So I think what I might do is fussy cut that out and then I can tuck that underneath here so it's not quite as strong. So I will be back in a moment after I have cut all these circles out for this layout. I've got my circles all cut out. This one I fussy cut out and I've put some foam dots on behind it. You can see with this one here, I've actually just cut into the edge of this PML card and I'm going to put this aside because I do have quite a few blue tones left for the last layout I'm going to do. These I might cut in half. This one here I'm just going to trim it down so it's got a little bit more of a flatter edge. I couldn't quite get it all within the circle for this one but I'm going to line it up rather than lining it up straight here I'm going to line it up with the base of this so that it is a little squarer. And then what I've also done is cut some more circles from some scrap pieces of black. These aren't full circles, but I'm going to be tucking those around. And I went ahead with this six by four PML card and trimmed that down to make it a bit of a smaller mat. And I've also decided to mat this one on black as well. And I've saved these pieces from all the offcuts in case I want to create some washi type strips. I've adhered these pieces down to my layout. And what I've decided to do is to replace this three by three photo holder with this pocket card. So that gives a nice place for a list. You could do one, two, three, four, five options of this is why you're awesome. And this one that will have more journaling on it will go down in this area. So I've got three very large lemonade or yellow items going across in a triangle here. And then it's just a case of working out where I want to put the remainder of these. I'm going to tuck them in and around. And while I'm doing that, I'm trying to decide if I want to have this one with the white background or this one with the black. I think this one can go up here. I want to put some things behind this speech bubble to sort of ground it a little bit. And I've got these brick elements. Now I don't want to put them this way because to me that's running vertically and I want them running horizontally. So I'm going to tuck these in as well. 
And this is why I've cut some of these black elements because I just found these were getting lost a little bit on here. So I'm going to group those. I can trim that off a little bit more. And then while I'm looking at this, I know that I can trim this down so that part of it will go here and it looks like it's tucked all the way under. And then part of it can go down behind this one to create more of a grouping. This one is tucked under a fair way, so I'm going to cut this one as well. I'm gonna bring it down so we can see more of the rainbow. I'm just fussing around with these until I get the placement how I want it. I might put that one up there because that little green face there is the right orientation. And then this one can come down into this grouping. And instead of putting it off to the right side, I'm gonna put it on the left. So then that combines that all together. It was a little bit lost coming out here. It just looked like I was trying to spread this around, but by just moving it a little bit and bringing it over, that gives a nice little grouping. I'm really happy with how this is all looking. This one I'm gonna pop up on some foam dots as well to give a little bit of height, and I might do that also with this smiley face over here. So there are gonna be three elements that have foam dots. And I think I'll bring in some of the yellow and black shimmer brush to put some of those elements around these grouping as well. And as usual, I should have done that before I stuck this piece down, but that's okay. What I do when I do things like this and I have everything exactly how I like it, I take a photo of it so that I can recreate it later. It's going to be a bit hard to mask all of this off to put the shimmer brush splatters and you saw me do shimmer brush splatters in the last video I did with these pocket cards. I'm going to take a photo of this, remove all these things, do some splatters with the shimmer brush and adhere those down and then I will be back to show you the final placements of some of these acrylic shapes. Pretty much everything here is adhered to the page now. Before I adhered the circles, as I said, I did some black and lemonade splatters around there. I just put a piece of copy paper over the areas here so I could do some of that without getting it all over the photo placements. These white photo placements are going to act as mats, so there will be white mats on all of these. And I will trim my photos down so they're just shy of these measurements that you can see here. I've tucked all the circle elements because I took a photo, I was able to replicate what I'd laid out. And then I went through all the little scrap pieces of the PML cards and trimmed them down into strips and then just went ahead and tore sections to make them look like washi tape. And I've just got two little pieces of washi tape here. This is to anchor the circle element on this side and this is just a bit of a fun grouping underneath this journal mat. I've placed the acrylic shapes roughly where I want them and one thing I want to point out when it comes to these smiley faces I've made sure that they are over an area where you can actually see the entirety of the eyes and the mouths. If you put them over something like that it gets all a little bit messy. If you do want to put them over a pattern paper I suggest putting a little bit of cardstock behind them and adhering that so that you can place them wherever you want them to go. And I think I'll just pick up a black heart and I'll adhere that there. This pickup tool is just so handy. It's not just for sequins and little small elements. You can pick up quite large pieces with them. And the other thing I wanted to point out with these acrylic shapes is they are layered. So there are inside pieces that you can use. So this little inside piece of this red heart came from the inside section of this heart over here. But what I'm doing is mixing up the colors so that they're a double layered look with two tone colors. I've got a little grouping here, here and here, and then I'm still deciding on what I'm gonna do on this one there. I think this heart might be too big for that, so I'm gonna put that back. So I think I'll bring in just a little blue heart, put that off to the side. And then I just use this liquid glue. I put a little dob here, and then I can put that down on top of that element. So you can go through and do all of that with this and use your pickup tool. But I won't make you watch all of that because you will have seen me do that before on other videos. Just before I go, I want to mention something very exciting that's going 
going to be happening really, really soon. So keep an eye out for it. The creative design team and the membership group has some wonderful news to announce in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you tune back in to find out what that exciting news is going to be. As always, I'll put some still shots up at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have one more left to do in this series. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this done before the end of June and there will be a brand new catalog coming out for the July, August, September period. And I'm very excited about what is contained within those pages, but I will be doing a layout with these. And hopefully once the catalog, the new catalog has been out for a period of five days or so, things that are still in stock come back into the store. So these picture my life cards from the Fresh Paint collection may still be available for you to purchase. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy crafting and bye for now.